This is Wuhan, and today is April the eighth. So we're officially out of the lockdown, and I'm going out for a spin. Okay, better safe than sorry. Let's go. Lei Jiao is one of the 11 million people who have been quarantined in Wuhan, China, ground zero for the global coronavirus pandemic. All right, let's check out the post-apocalyptic world. This week, she left her apartment for the first time since the city went on lockdown, 76 days ago. This is the checkpoint. So you can see the barricades, and I'm going to need my green coat to get out of the neighborhood. Today officially marks the end of the lockdown, but the government is still controlling people's movements. If you want to go out, you need to have a permit. If you want to get out of your block or go to a supermarket or get on a bus or subway, and you can show it to them and you can get your temperature taken and your green coat scanned, and then you're good to go. China will maintain a health code system that divides people based on risk factors, such as if they're showing any symptoms or have had contact with an infected person. Yellow and red codes mean continued restrictions, like two more weeks of self-isolation. People with green codes, like Lei, can move around freely. I will definitely go out in the sun, just end my vampire life. I'm out. The government is warning that while the official lockdown might be over, the fight against the virus is not. The message isn't lost on people like Lei, even as they try to return to their lives. Mission accomplished. I'm still alive. We cannot just relax and lay back and, you know, everything's okay. It's not in the clear right now yet. The city will be back and, you know, recover. But it's going to be very long and we suffered a lot. And uh, for the country, yeah, this is a huge disaster. I think people will feel the impact in the years or decades to come.